But first, a college student is recovering tonight from serious injuries that police say could be the result of hazing. We talked with students at Wilmington College with police and also contacted the school. Only on two, Robert Lowry is live with what he's learned about that investigation. Well, I just got a message from the victim a little while ago. A student at Wilmington College saying he is doing just fine after winding up in the hospital on Halloween. The incident is now part of a police investigation of alleged hazing at one of the college's fraternities. Initiation into a fraternity can be a time-honored tradition. Police say a fraternity at Wilmington College, however, may have crossed the line into hazing when one of their pledges was found in the hospital. We've seen like four cop cars outside the Gobbler house, but no one really could say what was going on. Wilmington police said they were sent to Clinton Memorial Hospital hearing that a 19-year-old man was brought in with a serious injury that needed surgery. They believe he was a victim of hazing. Police then went to the Gamma Phi Gamma House, also known as the Gobbler House, off Fife Avenue, where they confiscated a list of items, including laptops, notebooks with pledge information, and clothes with tape on them. Everyone was just like leaving everywhere because they didn't know exactly what was happening and what was going on. People who pledge, like, they want to be part of it, they want to have the brothers, and it, for people to take it that far, like, that's crazy. I reached out to Wilmington College for comment, but my messages weren't returned. A hazing policy is listed on the college's website, however, which states student organizations found to be in violation of the college hazing policy may receive a range of sanctions, including probation status, fines, community service, educational sanctions, suspension of the group, or loss of recognition and association privileges as a college organization. For now, I think it should be shut down. For them to act like they should still be able to have a pledge season and everything, that I don't think they deserve to. Now, police are still investigating the incident. An official at the Clinton Memorial Hospital, however, said that the victim was released Friday afternoon. Reporting live, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.